Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what it's like to use the iPhone 15 Pro Max without a case. So I guess this video kind of goes for any of the new iPhone 15s and 15 Pros, but especially this one here, uh, the Pro model with the titanium frame, of course. So long story short, I have never used an iPhone without a case. Every single iPhone I've ever had, I've always immediately protected it with some sort of case, whether that was an Apple case or a third party manufacturer. So when I got my iPhone 15 Pro, I was coming from a 13 Pro. On my 13 Pro, I had the Apple leather case. And then before I had the 13 Pro, I had an iPhone 10 with an Apple leather case as well. And those cases were fantastic. However, they're no longer using leather. They're using something now called fine woven, which is a stupid name. And also it's apparently not that good of a case, at least from the reviews that I've been seeing. So I didn't want to dump 60 bucks on an Apple leather case and not enjoy it, but I did purchase something different. So I purchased an Apple clear case. However, the Apple clear case, you can go watch my review about that. I'll put it up in the top right or in the comments or description or something. That case was, it, it was good. I, I liked the way it looked and everything like that, but it was the most slipperiest case I've ever had in my life. I mean, I felt like I was gonna drop my phone at all times, it was really bad. It was starting to get kinda used to it uh, after about three weeks of use, but I decided to go caseless. And the reason why I decided to go caseless is because number one, look at how good this natural titanium finish looks. But number two, when I unboxed my iPhone 15 Pro, I actually said it on video when I unboxed it, that this is a really, really comfortable phone to hold in your hand, even on the Pro Max version. I know that the Pro is probably much better to hold in your hand, easier to grip it, but this one is still a very comfortable feeling as well. And I recently had some family members who picked up iPhone 15s and I helped them unbox it and get it set up. And holding that phone in your hand is also very similar to this feel as well. But I knew that I could probably use this phone without a case. And I decided to do it after the Apple Clear case was just not really doing it for me. So here it is, my iPhone 15 Pro. Now, after I made my Apple Clear case review, I uploaded that video on October 25th. Well, today is December 7th. So it's now been over a month using this phone without a case. So let me tell you my thoughts about it. So I am always very careful with my Apple products. I never damage anything, never drop anything, scratch it. This laptop right here in the background is a 2018 MacBook Air and it, you know, not bragging on myself, but it still looks brand new. I mean, it's completely clean, perfect, everything like that. And I knew that even though my phone would be the thing that would get beat up the most probably out of all my devices because you use your phone every single day you take your phone with you everywhere you go there's definitely a good chance that something's going to happen now thankfully knock on some wood somewhere i've never dropped this phone it's going to happen one day it's inedible it's going to happen but i haven't dropped this phone yet so i guess we'll find out what happens but after using this phone for a few days without the case, I was nervous. I, I, I really was. I was worried that something was going to happen to it. I mean, these phones are not cheap and everybody knows that. You don't want anything to happen to your shiny new iPhone. I was also debating, should I get Apple Care? Should I not get Apple Care? Well, I didn't get any Apple Care. I've just been risking everything here lately. But overall, this phone has been great. I haven't felt like at any time that the phone is gonna drop out of my hand or it's gonna slip out because it's too slippery or anything like that. It's been fantastic. The screen is also obviously not protected, but I never had an issue with my iPhone 13 not having a screen protector, so I'm not too worried about that. Some people had said that the screen scratches easier on this phone. I'm not really seeing that. My phone 
you know, comes in and out of my pocket all day long, and I haven't seen a single scratch on the screen, so I'm not sure uh, what's up with that. Uh, as far as the, you know, the one main thing I was concerned about is the titanium frame. So titanium is kind of like stainless steel. It collects a lot of fingerprints, and if you have a colored iPhone uh, 15 Pro, you're probably going to notice your fingerprints a lot more than you do on this natural finish. The natural finish, honest to goodness, I mean, it just, your fingerprints blend in. You really can't see them unless you're looking really closely. Now, I think my titanium has kind of changed a little bit over time. I'm not sure if that's like from the oils in my fingers or if that's just uh, normal wear and tear. I'm going to say that it's probably normal wear and tear. But you can kind of see on this side of the phone, there are a little bit more areas where my fingerprints are kind of more prominent, especially like up in this area right here. But the good news is your fingerprints wipe off pretty effortlessly. So if you have like an apple polishing cloth or something like that, all you gotta do is just kind of clean up your phone every once in a while, maybe once a week or so, just kind of, you know, wipe it down a little bit. Uh, just to get that fingerprint residue off of there. I mean, that's really all you have to do. And then the back of the phone is that frosted kind of matte material. So that's really not an issue either. Also, another thing you got to kind of look at is camera lenses. They kind of get a little bit uh, dirt and stuff trapped in there, but it's really not too bad. But anyways, I feel like I'm kind of rambling on here. I just want to give you the long story short. If you're thinking about using your iPhone 15 Pro without a case, I think you should definitely give it a shot. The phone does not really get as dirty as I was thinking it would. If you have super oily hands, you might notice your fingerprints a little more than I notice mine on here. But as long as you kind of just wipe your phone off, you know, clean it up every once in a while, you'll be just fine. As far as durability goes, I have never dropped this phone. I don't notice any scratches or anything like that happening on the device. Um, I will say though, I have seen some people, if they have like the blue titanium finish, that is painted, obviously. So the, if you have a painted version of the 15 Pro, you may notice scratches easier, you may notice more wear and tear, um, and things like that. So if you're going to go caseless, I would definitely recommend getting natural titanium, or maybe even the white version as well, that might be a good candidate there. But this natural titanium finish, I mean, this phone's been holding up really good without a case, and I'm pretty proud of it. So, things to note there, uh, no really wear and tear for me. I hadn't dropped it yet, so I don't know what that's going to look like. But overall, I'd say this phone is looking really good, and I'm probably going to, from now on, not put a case on my iPhone, because it's just that good. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. Thank you for watching the channel as always. Let me know what other iPhone 15 Pro content you want to see. We'll have our full review of this device coming up, hopefully before the end of the year, if I can get it all recorded up before the holidays. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.